How's it going? So as you can probably see from the title of this video, this video is not the CNC laser cutter. Oh. Despite all my efforts, I couldn't get the thing working in time to have a video this week. And I posted a little update on the channel. Thank you so much for all your support on that. But I won't stand for this. That's quitter talk. We're gonna get a video out today. So what I need is a one day build. Ah, uh, really, a half day build. So as I was welding the aluminum parts on the CNC machine, I was thinking, every time I need to weld aluminum, I gotta pull out the gallon of acetone just to wet up a rag a little bit. Let me tell you, man, this, this cap is more than just childproof. I wanna make an acetone dispenser. First things first, I used some very intentional camera placement so you wouldn't see the horrendous mess that has ensued from working on this CNC machine. So, we got a lot of cleaning to do, and then we gotta figure out how this thing's gonna work. Let's do it. So I don't really have a plan here, and I'm kinda married to the random scrap that I got laying around in the shop. But I'm kinda thinking, we somehow attach a tube to the cap of the acetone, and then we have a lever that will push up a thingy inside of that tube and align some holes. Did that make any sense? Probably not, let's just do it. The first thing we gotta figure out is how we're gonna tap into the lid of this thing, and the old magnet test says it's steel, albeit very thin steel but I think I'm gonna try and weld a little tube onto this because I don't know that I can machine these threads. This is the part that will make or break this project. Well, that didn't go quite as expected. Good thing we can always lean on our old friend, quick setting epoxy. Job done. Now we need to start working on the actual dispenser mechanism. I'm thinking a shaft that will ride up and down inside of a collar. The inner shaft will be a cup facing up towards the acetone, and each of them will have a hole that will line up when it's put into the right position. So, back to the lathe. So I think the game plan is starting to make a little more sense now. O-ring here, O-ring here. When this plunger is pushed up, these two holes will align and the fluid can pass through. The problem is in its resting position here, the top O-ring is beneath this hole and fluid will be able to get through this hole anyways. So what we need is a longer shaft with another O-ring on it for this to actually work. Not looking good for this one day build, guys. All right, got my new parts. They're slightly longer, but now in its resting position, it'll be sitting between the first two O-rings, and then when we push it up, the holes line up. Bam! Now with these parts done, I think it'd be smart to figure out where this is gonna mount inside the enclosure. Which enclosure, you ask? This enclosure, so the acetone bottle can slide right into there, like so. So we need to mount this little thingy somewhere on this side, likely in the middle of this. And I need to have all this stuff removable because I realize the only O-rings that I have for this right now are Buna N, and I can't get any ethylene propylene or something that can stand up to acetone for a long period of time in town. So, this being a one day project. I'm just gonna mock it up with the Buna N and then order the ethylene propylene and replace them all later. So I'm just gonna make a block that this can be welded into that will be bolted to the side. Safe. So in order to actuate this thing, we have this part and to push up on it, 
I'm gonna have this lever on a hinge point somewhere down here. So when I push in on this, it will push up on our plunger. So we gotta make a hinge. So I've gone ahead and drilled a little hole in the side of the case. Now I can stick this stainless steel rod through and make a little shish kebab with these pieces. Now I just gotta figure out how to weld these outer ones in place. It ain't gonna be easy. So I've made a bit of an oopsie. When I welded this part of the hinge in, it melted quite a bit and got the stainless steel rod stuck in there. And my brilliant solution hit it with a hammer. And I've kind of like bent this in. So I think we're gonna end up embracing the fact that it's stuck in there for good. I'm gonna cut the bottom off. And we can weld our little lever on and then I can weld the bottom back up. Alrighty, now I can tack this guy back in place and give it a test. So I've been playing with this thing and it seems the aluminum bar rubbing on the aluminum on here is just wearing each other down and it's too grippy so it doesn't slide very nicely. So what I'm thinking, I got this chunk of Delrin here. I'm just gonna make a little cap that I can epoxy on the end of this and hopefully that'll be a little bit more slidey. So I've got this little piece of Delrin epoxied in place. I've sanded a little ramp on it to where the thing needs to engage with it. Let's get this thing installed and see how it works. Hey! Look at that! I don't know if you can see anything, but it works! So, if this little lever gets pulled too far up, everything goes out of alignment, and we don't want that. So let's find the bottom of travel, tack that in place. Yeah, it's janky. One day bill. So that all seems to work pretty good. Now the last thing we need for this one day build is a pipe coming from this hole to the bottom right next to the lever. I don't have any of that, so we're just gonna drill out some round stock on the lathe. So I've gone ahead and drilled a little hole in here. We got our little downspout on this piece. There we go. All seems to line up. Now, gotta weld the bottom of this thing up. Gotta cut this a little shorter, cause that looks stupid. And then we need to add some supports on the inside to hold the acetone in the correct position. Ugly welds. Got my O-rings installed on the plunger. So this guy stalls in here. Now this guy can get stuck in here. Like so, we got our little spout sticking out there. Now we need to figure out how this all will mount onto the acetone. So now we gotta stick a piece of flat bar or something to support this one and a sixteenth of an inch down. All right, I think this thing's just about coming to a close. I went ahead and popped these little things on the back to hang it. Didn't even take the sticker off. One day build! Now, if only I could find some wall space. Okay, I'll, I'll do this properly. All right, here we go. Not sure how to load this thing without spilling acetone everywhere. I think it's in. That wasn't too bad a spillage. Now, if ever I wanna wet my paper towel with acetone, pew! Ah! Pretty nice. Need a cup full of acetone? Oh yeah, man. It works. 
Granted, that stream is beelining right for my hand. I just gotta remember to keep it up there. It works, man! Anyway, thanks for sticking around for this one day build. Sorry I didn't have the final part of the laser cutter finished. I ran into a couple snags. You, you'll be hearing all about those in that video. But, you know, it kind of just felt wrong to not put up a video this week. So here's a little, little quickie for you. If you like what you saw, leave a dinger. Think about subscribing and thank you for watching.